Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have my Trek Roscoe uh, 6 year 2022 in the stand and I have a dilemma. Energy. Energy. So let me tell you a little bit about what is going on in my head right now with this bike. So I'm trying to decide whether I sell this bike and get the Trek Roscoe 7 or keep this bike and do a couple upgrades on it. So this is just a video about me just kind of going through the motions and the process in my own head with my thoughts about what I want to do with this bike. So number one, I love this bike. Don't get me wrong, I'm not downplaying this bike at all. Definitely not. I absolutely love this bike. It suits me. It suits the, the, the level of riding that I'm at currently. And it just is a beast of a bike and it takes everything I throw at it. Um, and in saying that, I am a beginner rider. So, you know, this bike is really, it's really an upgrade from my giant Revel I used to have. My thing is this. If it's new bike day for you and you have cash in hand and you go to a bike shop and by some stroke of a miracle you come across a Trek Roscoe 6 and a Trek Roscoe 7 and you're looking at the Roscoe line and serious about buying a Roscoe and you're deciding okay which one should I do the Trek Roscoe 7 is like $700 more here in Canadian dollars than the 6 buy the 7 get the Trek Roscoe 7 and I'll tell you why Trek Roscoe 7 has the more modern frame geometry it has the swoop on the bottom has the slacker head tube angle and a little bit shorter chain stays got the 29 inch wheels on there by 2.6 inch tires um, and also it has the Bontrager tires on there it has a 12-speed Shimano Dior drivetrain on there, all Dior stuff. And it also has a little RockShox Recon fork on it. So also you can upgrade the fork to a 150 travel without compromising the integrity of the frame because on the Trek website it says you can upgrade to a 150 travel if you want to. So it also has a rear through axle, 148 boost space, a 12 millimeter through axle instead of the quick release axle that comes on this bike, the six. So you're getting a much stiffer wheel. Um, you're getting a much stiffer uh, hub and just a tighter all around fit on the bike. Also, I should mention the wheels that come on the 7 are the Bontrager Lion Comp wheels. Uh, so it's a much better wheel um, and also better engagement on the hub. You can also upgradable, easily upgradable and actually quite cheap to do to upgrade to a 108 engagement. So that's the reasons why I would say that you would go to a 7 instead of the 6. Now in saying that, the, se the seven is $700 more, you know, plus taxes and all that fun stuff. But if you have the cash um, for the six and you're a beginner rider, but you've been in this sport for a little while and you, you know what it's about and you know you love it, um, you're much better to get the seven. You're just gonna get a lot more use out of it. And then coming out of the shop, you're not gonna, up you're not gonna have to upgrade anything on that bike. Maybe like the standard touch points, like I've put my, my own pedals I like on, on this bike. And also I've put my own bar on this bike as well as my own stem on this bike. So like the touch points are, are a given. 
But anything else on the 7, you're not going to have to touch. So on this bike, on the 6, for me personally, I want to upgrade the fork for sure without a doubt, 100% in my mind, that's an upgrade I want to do um, if I keep the bike. The other thing, the other upgrade I want to do is just upgrade the rear wheel to a line comp 40. However, in saying that, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I think I'm just going to stick with the fork and that's it. Because what's the point in upgrading the rear wheel uh, only to get a, to keep, to still have the quick release axle on the back because you can't change the dropout to accept a through axle when it's a quick release dropout. Um, and also it's a 141 spacing. So I would need to buy the adapters for the 12 mil through axle to adapt to a five mil quick release axle. So I'm not gonna make the wheel any stiffer than what it is. So really what's the point? It's kind of a waste of money. If you wanted to do any kind of upgrade on the wheels, just buy a 29er wheel set and, but then again, then you're looking at, you know, six, 600 to a thousand dollars for a good decent set of wheels then you got to get the tubeless rim tape or just rim tape in general then you got to get the valves then you got to get the tubes to fit the the, the new tires in the wheel then you got to get new tires <laughs> it just becomes a big money pit is is what it what it becomes but it is fun <laughs> but you got to have money uh, to spend in order to to do what you want to do but at the end of the day the seven is the better bet so in saying that again I did some leg work I called a bunch of bike shops I emailed a bunch of bike shops that were local and some that weren't so local and I asked when when are you getting Roscoe 7 in and the earliest they said that they were going to get a 7 in matte black either large or extra large was August of this year and in order for me to afford that bike I'd have to sell this bike like now and wait till August and hope with my fingers crossed that they would come in in August and they probably won't come in in August so I'm not willing to go without a bike until like that's three quarters of the way through prime riding season here and I'm just not willing to go without a bike for that long it's just no <laughs> So maybe in a, in a year time or a couple years time, I'll, I'll look at that option. But I pretty much made up my mind that I'm just going to keep my bike because I do love this bike. I really do. And I'm just going to upgrade the fork and that's the be all and the end all of it. And so stay tuned because I got a fork and I got a smoking deal on a fork. And uh, I'm going to do a video on that and I can't wait to share that with you. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for coming along with me uh, to help me <laughs> with my dilemma of six versus seven. Anyway, thanks a lot. Take care and love what you ride no matter what it is. Stay dirty. Uh... Oh, I always forget that part. <laughs>